UK tech talent shortage. Hello, hello, welcome back. My name is Eric, and today we're talking about a BBC technology article about how the apparent UK tech talent shortage is threatening to stifle growth in the industry. Before we get into this, I'm just gonna say that this kind of surprised me because the United States currently is experiencing a tech downturn where people are starting to lose jobs, people are not getting hired, hiring freezes, so on and so forth. So I kind of want to know what's different about the UK and uh, can I get a job? Now, according to the article, the last year there were over 2 million vacancies for tech jobs, but an industry coalition says nearly 12 million workers lack the essential skills. Burn. And the government told BBC that it's working closely with the industry on digital skills training. However, it seems like plans like boot camps, apprenticeships, and certificates are not enough to address the gap. And, and in turn, the former education minister said that employers are crying out for more people to be trained in digital skills. So crazy. They went on to say that an apprenticeship is a good way to help secure that kind of job. But according to government figures, nearly half of all apprentices Appren apprentices from across all industries, not just tech, dropped out last year. Data cited in the last UK jobs report shows that candidate numbers for job vacancies has been falling. And the report goes on to say that this is because of the following, re and, and the report goes on to say that this is because, one, the general low UK unemployment rate, two, concerns over job security, and three, increased economic uncertainty, which makes people waver around jobs more. Now, one place that is teaching young people digital skills is ADA, the National College for Digital Skills in London. Now, the college was initially founded to address the skills gap, which unfortunately has increased. And the pipeline of students too coming in is shrinking and the number of teachers that they have is also shrinking. And there's also a lack of computer science teachers too. But interestingly, the financial incentive to get a digital job or a tech job is pretty good. According to Tech Nation, tech salaries in the UK are 80% higher on average than non-tech jobs in the UK. I gotta go to the UK, guys. The average tech salary is 62,000 euros, which is more than double the average household income. One director at a recruitment company states that there's not gonna be a slowdown of these kinds of jobs and the demand for people who are technologically competent. Adding that there are shortages in software developers, data scientists, data analysts, enterprise architects, and program and project managers. But apparently there is just a sizable chunk of the British workforce, which is just nowhere near skilled enough digitally. Finally, the article states that living outside of the UK may be less and less of a barrier as many of the growing companies are slowly changing the fact that their predominant ties are in London. And with more tech hubs growing in the UK outside of London, businesses are really investing in more tech, AI, so on and so forth. So ultimately, hopefully there's going to be more people who are able to cater to that demand. Um, I think I should probably take some kind of computer science course in the meantime. I've been meaning to for many, many years of my life and never got around. But maybe this will be the final push. Then again, maybe not. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.